Damos caballeros, que noche de lucha libre aquí en la triple A, triple María. La rueda tiene al combatante en la esquina. Le va a estar dando un puño a otro. O lo tumbo al piso. Ahí va para contarla. Uno, dos, tres. Ganó la rueda. I can't believe I agreed to English commentary and the randomizer won. I don't believe this. Welcome to TFS Final Wednesday on the View Show Podcast. This is 247 doing that. Rickard wondering why did I pay so much money to watch Triple Mania Night 3? Huh. And that's. Out on not side. here! Not here! Out not here! Side. Not here! Forget, yeah, forget out on assignment. Let's not sugarcoat this. He's, he's hiding away in shame from having lost to the randomizer. Uh, don't remind me, man. Yes, yeah, folks. you're right. We all lost. <laughs> a little good that. In, we'll, go, we'll go to that in a second here, folks. Welcome to CFS Five. Let me tell you something. From the highest mountain to the lowest valley and everywhere in between, we are the beasts of the east, the best in the west. You are listening to TFS Pod, your girlfriend's favorite show, your pet's favorite show, and your wheel. In this episode, we'll be doing a recap of Triple Mania Night Three. In Mexico City, it was a wild and bloody night. Masks were uh, were taken off. Wheel had won. Oh, what a crazy night. So, yeah. 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 And everybody got a point for Triple Mania, except for Lou. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean in the overall, the three nights. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. I, I ain't got a donut. I ain't got a donut. <laughs> Close. Uh, uh, sorry, Lou. You Damn. you uh you didn't get a you didn't get a point for a triple mania event. I, you have lost your shot at Bingo. I know, man. I, I and there's no other event of another company that I can get it at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I didn't get anything at all. Right, New Japan. Well, I could review that, but in order to get Bingo, you got to get one point at all of them, and you lost it technically once when the City Riot ended, but. Oh. We're not going to cover that. But that's fine. That's fine. But you know what? Uh, like, now that we're there, so I know the woman man's on a special assignment. Oh, I know. He's wearing the mask. Uh, here we go. I'm going to say the line that everybody wants to hear right now. Well, not everybody. A wheel wants. Oh, what heel wants to hear. Let's <laughs> just say it. Ricard! Get the scoreboard. Get the scoreboard. I wish I could get more excited about that, but okay. Lou, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. At least not for you. Because you are still in first place at 14 points. Yes. 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 Followed by myself at second place, but it won't be there forever. You'll see. You'll see. I'm at 12 points. Oh. Good, that's good. Followed by in third place, very close behind. It is tense. It is tense. He could have tied it with me. He is at 11 points. It is the one man band. <laughs> no one else is applauding it. Uh, so I'm at it. <laughs> He's got that one fan in the audience. <laughs> However, close behind all of us. Almost in the double digit club. Wow. Main event, Jeff, at nine yeah, points. The rookie of the year going on. Rookie of the year, greatest debut year, all of that. Yep. All of that. First non <laughs> non mainstay <laughs> member from founding. Yeah. To make double digits almost. Yep. It's almost there. Whew. And he is followed behind. By J. Few, who is at seven points. Stalling there for a while. Stalling. He's been at seven for a while. He really likes that number. Hmm. And then we have a tie now. Because we used to have an undisputed sixth place. But we are tied between Big Al and the recently tying randomizer. What? Both of them have four points. 
Oh my god! Wow, where's my point? Big Al, <laughs> Big Al, where you at? The ran- the wheels, the wheels almost, almost about to take over. Oh my god! Do not be left behind the wheel. Has that ever happened? No, right? Uh, yeah. Oh well, I'm pretty sure last year it happened the same way. Yeah. Let me see. Yes, that is exactly what happens. Wow. Keep on, Big Al. We got, we got you. Come on. I know, I know. As- let, let's be honest. As the wheel proves, as the wheel proves, all it, you don't even have to be good at predicting. <laughs> you don't even have to know anything about wrestling. Or no as Spanish. As, keep, <laughs> as long as you keep submitting picks, you might actually have a success. Yep. <laughs> and that said, with the wheel now tying up for sixth place with Big Al, that means that everyone else is at zero. Including Bogey. That's the scoreboard. Back to you, Lou. All right. Yes, folks. We're going to talk about Triple Mania, the third night of this event that they spread out over a, over a few months, which uh, has been exciting. Yeah. I, I can't and say I'm going to say it right now. I am going to say it right now. And I'm. I, uh, we have a rule on this show. It, it is that if the randomizer wins the predictions, generally speaking, it's very likely that you you put on a bad show. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that 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 is the official rule of TFS Pod. And speaking as someone, and I, I did reference this in the intro, um, as someone who did buy the pay per view to watch it. Oh yeah, Eesh. I was very disappointed with the American stream. Uh, it, the the cut there was the feed cut out at the early parts. Two dark matches that actually were very interesting. I actually wanted to see them. Mm-hmm. True. That did never did not air. I was very disappointed by that. Uh, and I fell asleep during the main event. I'm, I'm calling. I'm saying it was it late. It was a late start too. It so. was a late. It was a late start. Time zone differences. I get it. But, jeez. Yeah. It, that 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 main event. Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But, Triple Mania easily. Well, let's just let's just let's just cover the show. All right, um, yeah. Actually, I do want to talk about that about the the coverage. Um, yeah, it it was cutting off. That was a that was a big issue to try to catch it to try to watch it. And also, too, come on, guys, if you're gonna do this stuff, like I get it that that this is a this are you listening to currently is a YouTube show. Yes, it is. But that is a a big thing that you're covering from another country. Don't be doing. It. Fix your background for crying yeah. out loud. I, I complain about that. That's why you only see pictures of us. You don't see us in us in no pants because that's how we. That's that's a, you know that's how the show goes. No pants. Oh yeah, no pants, dude. We sometimes what? no no underwear either. Why? <laughs> whoa, whoa! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am kidding. I am kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I just think that that background that they had there for each of them was come on, man. At least dress it up like if you're in a VIP box, not in a closet watching the show. But that's again, uh, that's a little minor, main, minor criticism. But I'm going to say I'm going to put out my main time. thing. My main thing is why just go to the event and, and and set it up so that you have the folks you know there. That that's how you. It's a big event. Yeah, it it, it is. It, have the guys there. I felt like I was watching. Like even even people who like I was watching it. People people would come by and they'd be like, "Hey man, what are you watching?" And I'm just like, oh, it's Triple Mania. It's a big thing. It's for Triple A. It's a promotion that's been around for 30 years. Yeah. And they're just like, what? Why do I see two panels of guys like in their room, basically? Like, are you watching a? They were like, are you watching an illegal stream? I said, no, I paid for this. This is actually. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why they have that. I don't. I only if I'm listening to the commentary, just have the commentary in the background. Yep. There was a part of me that was like thinking to myself, I should have just, I should have just changed my location to Mexico so I can watch the Spanish version. I, I know Spanish. Yeah. yeah. I know Spanish enough to get by. I should have just watched it. But I said, ah, oh, whatever. And it is entertaining like, though to listen to it in Spanish too, also. But oh yeah. yeah, it's like if anybody and 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 for non wrestling fans, if you want to know what what wrestling with uh with Spanish commentary is, just listen to soccer with Spanish commentary. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> It's it's almost the exact same thing. <laughs> As exciting. 
<laughs> as animated for some of the most strangest things. However, enough about that. Let's get into the show, oh, or good. rather, yeah. the so, parts of the show we we never saw because they were only dark matches. All right. So who won? Who, who won that one? And what were the points? Uh, a lot of them. What was the first one? All right. So did? so fun facts. Fun facts. Uh, because they were dark matches, and we were unaware that they were dark matches. Uh, we started off the show watching three televised matches before we realized, hey, wait a minute. Why are they saying that there's only a couple matches left? And then we checked it and saw they were dark matches. So we'll, we'll mention the update later, but a certain someone was very upset when they oh, found yeah. out that their lead was non-existent and uh, certain <laughs> a two-point match and another match went against their favor. Mm -hmm. But happening in the dark match was Team El Leyenda Americana versus Team Tejor Burbura. And uh, it was a Marvel Lucha Libre edition exhibition match. I want to see what that Whatever. was. I want to see how that looked. I, you see, this is what gets me. This is what gets me. These were interesting matches, and they did the same thing. They did the same thing for Night 2, where certain matches were actually part of the pre-show. Yeah. But they were, they were on... On the screen, and I love that. This I would have wanted to see. I mean, it's a shame I couldn't see it mm -hmm. on the screen. Maybe, maybe, and and what gets to me is they probably did have it happening, mm -hmm. but the the feed wasn't up for the time, so they just had a timer saying, "Hey, the event's about to start." Mm -hmm. Either way, Team LA and Americana got the win, and let me look this over real quick, make sure I'm getting this right. Everybody got a point except for main event Jeff. Oh keep yeah, in mind, he went against... keep him, keep this in mind. Uh -huh. Keep this in mind. He went against the consensus. So, but we didn't find out this until halfway into the show. So, uh -huh. it's it's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, but yeah. So that was the first match. Then we had another match, which I would have loved to have seen. It was an intergender. Yeah. As, uh, and and into species as as main event Lou or twenty four seven Lou likes to say. Yeah, because yeah, there, there's a bull in there. Because there's a bull in there who won the match, by the way. Yep. <laughs> uh, it was a twelve person Copa Berdal Triple Mania thirty match. I know, I know that you guys were going, were leaning towards. Oh, and I don't even, and I don't even know who the TBA was. I picked yeah, TBA so on that one. You picked TBA. Um. I should probably have pulled this up beforehand. It's okay. They didn't win. The again, they didn't I, win. I get tricked so by it again. Not... I, I felt... We were... I felt so, the consensus was, so the consensus was that this was a joke battle royal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we all picked joke participants, or rather, not necessarily just joke participants, but like, yeah, wouldn't it be funny if like <laughs> a sexy star wins, or in my case, Lady Shawnee wins. I'm like, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They won, because... You know, the chick beats all the guys. Well, no, and also too, you said that in the previous uh, Triple Mania, they had a match that they was, had a uh, similar, a similar battle royal. The winner of the battle royal was a joke win, by the way. He, yeah, it was Nino Hamburguesa. Nino, Nino Hamburguesa, the former winner. <laughs> so, I thought this would be a joke. This match was taken very seriously, and essentially. Taurus got the win, giving two points only to two competitors who would make it to the finals in this. And that was the one-man band and the randomizer. Nobody else got a point. Yeah, that was amazing. I, 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 can't, I couldn't believe that when I saw that. I said, what? Both of them got that, got that point? Yep. Both of them. One-man band made the serious pick, and the randomizer just had the luckiest... Random pick. Chance of all. Out of 12. Out of 12, the randomizer <laughs> picked the winner. That's like the randomizer guessing the Royal Rumble winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, uh, either way. How random it is, the predictions battle. Yeah. Either way, that put the randomizer and Woman Band at three points without us knowing. They put it at three points before the show even started. Mm -hmm. And everyone else was either at one or, in Manaman Jeff's case, zero points. So bear this in mind. Bear this in mind. Just three points versus one with a couple other people, and then one person was a zero. Mm -hmm. Now let's get to the actual show. We had the opening match, which was a uh, a four-way 
tag team match. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a shot at the AAA World Tag Team Champions in the future, right? Mm-hmm. And there was Los Hermanos Lee versus Ares and Willie Mack versus Mestizes Jr. and Commander versus two members of Los Vipers, Toxin and Ladigo. Mm-hmm. And I got to say, very entertaining match. Um, very sudden finish, I will I will say. The, the match felt like it just ended abruptly. Um, but Willie Mack was having a ball out there. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he was, I think... It wasn't the Macarena. It was something else. Oh, un movimento sexy. Oh, my God, really? Ah, la, la, la bomba. There we go. He was dancing la bomba, and he's just like, ah, la bomba. Por debajo. Por de... He's just, ah, oh, it, was, it was hilarious. Okay. It was hilarious. <laughs> all, the, all the other teams were, like, either enjoying it, watching, or in the case of Los Vipers, they were just like, what is this nonsense? Yeah, this is Triple Mania. We oh. want to see a fight. Either way, either way, funny enough, the crowd was having a fun time with that. Um, and in true Triple Mania, Triple A fashion, um, the match only went about four minutes before before at least half of the participants were in the fighting in the front row, huh. <laughs> diving onto each other. Oh god! So it was pretty wild, which made me think this would be a long match because I'm like, oh, they're in the front row, everybody's messing around in the front row, but. Out of nowhere, the match kind of just and there was a lot of so when a we, lot we, of we, hidden, hidden so storylines. So Los Hermanos Lee won it. Oh, so they're gonna yeah they're back in the title contention. Okay. So they won it, and basically, so much storyline was just set up for nothing to happen. So oh. for those who don't know, Ares used to be a member of Los Vipers before he got kicked out. Ah. Which is why he was teaming up with Willie Mack for the first time. Ah, okay, okay. And then Commander and Mestiz Jr. M- Mestizis Jr. are just there. Hey, that's um, Junior. But they... Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> you know there's a lot of juniors. In, in, uh, in Mexican wrestling. In, in Mexican wrestling. Because it, it's very a family tradition thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but essentially, yeah, Los Hermanos Lee won. And, and it was exciting. I believe I believe it was Drillistico that got the win. I might be mistaken. Okay. But um, fun match, fun match. It just really ended suddenly. It was very surprising. Okay. Um, and it ended suddenly so that they could do other stuff that was non-match related. Mm. So there were a couple things that they did where I was just like, ah, man, like this feels so forced. Well, um, to me, we'll get to that. It, it's it's also sort of, sort of like you know on on WrestleManias where you have Hall of Fame or you have. Some... But the the problem is they were running the clock. They were running the clock and rushing matches either way. I was like, if yeah. you were running the clock, if you were running the clock, but you were like, yeah, we have a bunch of time to kill. I'd get that. But you were running the clock, and this was a fairly short event by comparison. It didn't feel long. This didn't feel as long as Triple Mania Night Two. Yeah, yeah. Not that Triple Mania Night 2 was wrong, was, was long, was bad, mind you. But I did fall asleep in the main event also. But it was because it was a longer show mm-hmm. and because I was close to getting a donut. <laughs> so I was having a bad <laughs> night at night, too. Yeah. Uh, but Los Hermanos Lee won. It was a very short match for what I felt. It could have gone longer. Um, and I don't get... I, I, I found it weird. The, you know how many times they had Rey Mysterio appear via satellite to give like a message? What? Twice, twice. Why? You didn't know this. Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, because he 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 comes from Triple uh, Triple A. That's where he made a name for himself before he appeared in WCW. Apparently, oh, okay. Um, he came out and did a message live via satellite. Oh yeah, because it was, they, it was the thirty year anniversary. They did that yeah. once. Yeah, it's a thirty year anniversary. So he did the, He did the message. My feed cut out the first time. And then he did the message again. They showed, they replayed it, and I was like, I get it. It's cool. WWE let it let him do that live via satellite. That's a pretty big deal. Mm-hmm. But my gosh, like the feed cut out again. <laughs> I was having feed issues up to, up until uh, Ty Valkyrie's match. Yeah, I see. That's where I was also. That yeah, that's when I caught on yeah. to the show. Uh so next match was Ty Valkyrie or just Ty versus Taya. Camille. Yeah. 
in a singles match for La Reina de La Reina's championship. Now, I guess. Uh, by I, the way, I had to mention something here. I noticed that she that in one of them, the camera angle caught it, where it was the beginning of the match. I guess Camille had thrown Taya to the ground, and or, or had hit her or had pushed her head against the turnbuckle or something, and then dropped to the ground. But I could mm-hmm. see where Taya Valkyrie was. Taya was taking out a blade or something out of her wrist. Like you see her taking stuff out of her wrist, and then she's in a corner, and we can't, we don't see her, and we see Camille. Next thing you know, we see Taya bleeding. I'm like, you're about to blade. I saw it on camera. I didn't see you blading. I saw you ready, ready to get the blade. So I blame the cameraman yep. on that one. So I believe that was the start of the blood on this show. Uh yes, yes. By my understanding, yes, there was no blood in the tag team match. We don't know if there were blood in the dark matches. Um. But for the record, this match had a bit of storyline going into it also. Camille was actually joined by uh, Maravilla, okay. uh, one of the members of Las, Las Toxicas. I don't know if that faction oh. is still a thing. I didn't see him at ringside, just her. Okay. Um, and the match had weapons involved. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Uh, pretty crazy. Uh, one spot that looked very painful was Ty Valkyrie. Uh-huh. Or just I'm gonna I, I'm just by habit gonna call it. Yeah, I hear you. That's um, fine. She goes to hit uh, off the outside of the apron, hits a cutter onto <laughs> Camille, onto a table that's there, and the table doesn't break. So Ooh. they land hard on the table. I actually I actually sent that in a video in the chat. It oh yeah 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 they slid painful. off the table. Yeah they just hit the table leans over and then they just slide off and i'm just like oh that yeah. had to hurt yeah, yeah. that was hard they took, they took the brunt of that one that was hard wood <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> okay. uh, either way either way the storyline there was whether or not my maravilla wanted um tile valkyrie to lose so that uh she could face camille who she probably thought was an easier opponent or whether she just wanted camille to soften up tile valkyrie uh, but in the end, Tile retained, and this was not a consensus pick. The randomizer did not get a point, so the randomizer got zero points off of this. Everybody else got a point. Now, in this one, now we did mention this before we started that for the women's matches, I know we missed the opening. They didn't have any other women's matches except this one, and it wasn't even. Yep. I know Ty is is considered for being there so long, you know, part of it, but it wasn't like the, we didn't see the other Mexican. Uh, female wrestlers in this, except Maravilla yeah. on the outside. So we missed see... opportunity. Missed, missed opportunity. Oppor- there were there were some female wrestlers in the dark match battle royal. Yeah. I, again, if you would have showed this on t- uh, on screen, I would have actually appreciated it. Um. But. Oh well. But yeah, I mean, a missed opportunity to show what, to show made case. made the show weaker. I think because because uh, I can easily say the women's division was the. Was the uh, uh, main appeal for for night two for me? I know that. I, uh, <laughs> rewind. <laughs> Are you still watching that on replay? Like with the hundred time? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> but yeah. All I, right, I, but but yeah, Taya Valkyrie retains. This was the only women's match on the card that made the main show. Yeah. So that was kind of disappointing on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The- and we're gonna cover we're gonna cover another disappointment because, well, before that we need to talk about um, a, a segment they did, which was uh, not. Damn it! Why am I forgetting his name now? Who's Conan that? comes out. Oh yeah, Conan. he's in charge of that. Now. He's apparently an authority figure on uh-huh. on Triple A the promotion. Uh-huh. He comes out and he gets interrupted by Cybernetico and. Uh, uh, Los Vipers, basically. Uh-huh. And they all beat him up. They all beat him up. Keep in mind, Cybernetico has a hair versus hair match later on in the night. So they just set up a match between them. Okay. You know, or they set up a rivalry there just so that it can get a payoff later on at night. So this segment went on way longer than it needed to for what it needed to do. Um... I have noticed that about the, the beatdown. The the beatdown didn't even feel like that severe. Like they're beating him down, and I'm just like, yeah, guys, like what a beatdown! You stomped on him a bit. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure we've seen the last of him. 
I was like, I was like, yeah, this guy's coming back later on in the in the show. I, I feel so bad now. Um, but yeah, that that happens. Okay, that took up a, a good fifteen minutes of the show, and then we go to a match that was a three way trios match for the AAA World Trios Champ, which had the weirdest rule ever. Oh yes, this is this so. One. This for those of one. you who are unaware, for those of you who are unaware, the general consensus was, aside from one person, was that we wouldn't see a title change on this match. So everyone picked Nueva Generación to win. Yeah. One per one one participant, the randomizer no. picked Cage, Adonis, and Caballero, who Johnny Caballero, which by the way. If John Morrison ever appears back on any like American promotion again, yeah, I want him to debut, come back as Johnny Caballero, because that theme is superb. Caballero. Oh yeah, yeah, he had a whole band and everything when he came out. Yes, he had a whole. The band was singing. The I I, I wore a hat. He wore a hat. He comes out with a, a stick horse. Yeah, a stick horse. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brilliant. They got the win, but the rule was yeah. that... No, they pinned the other team, Psycho Clown and... Yeah, they got the win in the match by pinning the other team, but they didn't pin the champs, and the rule was they had to pin the champs to get the titles. It was the most nonsensical decision... Like the whole point of a title match, that's a that's a three way. Is the suspense of like, oh man, is this gonna be used as a way for the champs to like lose the titles without really losing the title? It's not an advantage for the champs. How the champs? It's are not. An, get out of it's this? not an advantage for a champs. You know, they could lose without even being involved in the decision. No, no, they didn't lose the title because they weren't involved in the decision, even though they lost the match. I did not like that that move. I, it was very strange. The dumbest thing. And Imagine this happening in, in, in like other other areas where, yeah, it's a tag team match, but yeah, a triple threat. If this match. ever happens, I'm like, go ahead, like, pin him. I'm the champ, pin him. I don't care. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> seriously. If this ever happened in a triple threat match, every heel champ would just be like, "Well, I'm leaving right as soon as the bell rings." <laughs> right. There's no countouts. <laughs> right. There's no countouts. These guys are just gonna beat each other up for no reason. Oh, I got a scenario. I got a scenario for you. So, it's a triple threat match, right? The champ walks in. That's me. Yeah. Uh, you walk in, competitor. Uh, the one-man band walks in. And we have this rule. Guess what? I'm walking out. Like you said. I'm like, hey, you, you pinned them? Hey, Ricard, you, Ricard, you, you pinned the one-man band? Good job. Oh. oh I'm not, I'm not blocking that. I, no, no, no. I got, I got a better one for you. You're just like, oh, wait a minute. You don't get a point for this event if I don't if I'm not involved in the predictions. Well, I'm not presenting predictions. <laughs> right. like, what what kind of rule is this? Right. Like, imagine how many times matches would have ended much quicker if if the champ wouldn't lose by not getting pinned, where they break up the pin. Triple A, I didn't like this decision. Um, and you know, it and, took, and, 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 it took and, and me out of the match. It took me out of the match. I know it's been a year, and it's three, three, three big shows you've had. First time I see this rule. First time I see this rule. I and I've seen multiple same. Tag First team time matches. I've ever seen this match. First time I've seen this match. A match like that where it's oh the rules in place that the champs not involved in the decision, titles don't change. Worst decision ever. I don't know why they went that route, but don't do it again. Exactly. Ever. Ever. Don't do it again. Unless you're going to really, really do something interesting with this story. Also, it wasn't even the home team that won. It was the visiting team. It was the team. foreign team. It was the visiting team. And, and by the way, if you want to know how you get booed in Mexico, come out with an American flag. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> That's what happens. Anyways. And no one got a point. Except for the randomizer, so. But we were all we were all like it was all pretty even. Oh man, one point, one point, or rather, rather you know, in main events, Jeff's case, he had two points on the board. Several people had two points on the board. Mm -hmm. It was all pretty close. 
Then we get to the next match, Pagano versus Cybernetico. And it's a hair versus hair match. And this match had a lot of stuff happening. Um, for for the sake of no, I can't even say it's match of the night because no, no. because uh, because uh, I know what match was match of the night. It was the match of all of this. Yeah, this match was crazy though. You had involvement on the outside from Cybernetico's guys. Uh-huh. The match was basically four v one at the beginning, up until um, Vampiro comes out for whatever reason, just to like be the ref now. Because the ref, there's a ref bump. Vampiro comes out. He says he's the ref. Nobody questions it. So they they stopped it with the four v one stuff because Vampiro's out there. Uh-huh. They brought to the they brought to um they brought to uh, the outside. Um, I'm forgetting some guy comes out. Damn. Char Charlie Charlie Ma- Manson comes out. <laughs> what? The uh, some guy called his gimmick. His gimmick wrestling gimmick is he's Charlie Manson. He comes out. He comes out to help even the odds. He's he's basically outnumbered against Los Vipers. Not even a fictional character. Yeah, he comes <laughs> out. Mexican lucha libre guy comes out. Charlie Manson comes out. Gets full, quadruple teamed. Eventually decides, oh well. I'm leaving. <laughs> he walks back up the ramp. Lou, I don't know if you saw this, man. I missed, I missed this, was, this was crazy. This was crazy. Charlie Manson comes out, helps out for a bit, then goes, all right, well, I'm walking back up the ramp. He walks back up the ramp, leaves, leaving leaving Pagano to just get beaten up. By the way, Pagano was super over. No es, no es fiesta sin payaso. That's, that's, the, that's, the, um, that's the Pagano uh, gimmick. Oh. So apparently clowns are really over between Psycho Clown and Pagano. Clown gimmicks are really over. Oh yeah. Anyways, I like, I like Psycho Clown. Pagano. Clown, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Very over with the crowd. Um, they wrestle to the ramp. Charlie Manson comes out, even the odds. Then Conan comes out, even helps even the odds even more. But he doesn't get involved. He doesn't get involved. He just attacks those vipers uh-huh. to to like make sure no, they don't they don't get involved anymore in the decision. He has like a for, Conan has like a, a stare down, a, a quick like glance to to Vampiro, who's the ref still, you know. And the and the and the announcers are like, oh, Conan having a stare down with Vampiro. Oh boy. And then they keep going. Uh-huh. They both climb a ladder. Granted, it's not a ladder match. They just both climb the ladder for the sake of climbing a ladder, <laughs> beating up each other, beating up each other, beating up each other, and then I believe it was, oh, was a. Nasty. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> it was a nasty. I spot. believe it was a. I believe it was a power bomb off the ladder or something, or they basically they do a move off the ladder. Both of them go through the ramp. From the ramp and or the side of the stage, I think it was. To the side of the stage. There we go. To the side of the stage. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, wow, I can't believe they're, they're doing this. Stuff. I haven't... Conan I haven't... makes the count. Conan makes the count. We don't see who's pinning who. But Pagano but Pagano got the pin over Cybernetico. It's a hair versus hair match. No, they don't cut off his hair. He gets stretchered. And the announce team is just like, well, when Cybernetico comes to, he is going to have to lose his hair. They put him on an ambulance. They do. Blue Demon. Blue Demon Junior gets uh, gets inducted into the Hall of wait, Fame wait, wait, wait. along with did, did former. I, see, I, I know I saw footage of someone backstage getting sewn up or something. Was that was that cybernetic? Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is the this is this is this is how how weird it is how they how they do it. They were like, oh, the announce team was like, well, when cybernetic events comes to sometime in the future, he is going to have to lose his hair. That you know, it's just oh, they let him get stretched out, all that stuff. They do a whole segment where somebody gets inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Oh, Blue Demon, Blue Demon! You know they have they have uh, Carlos, <laughs> the 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 guy who used to do uh, his, his Spanish commentary for WWE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he there. comes out, Blue Demon, he keep, and he says his name like that. Yeah, yeah. I, he must have said Blue Demon a bunch of times. He, he says, "Oh, he gets inducted into the Hall of Fame." Blue Demon Junior comes out. This and that. They do the whole segment. 
they, they inducted another guy. I, I forget who it was. I believe he was a commentary team uh, or uh, the founder. Oh, no, well, no. It, was, it was one of the famous announcers of their, of their industry. Yeah, one of the announcers. He also gets inducted. The hot wife. His family, his family comes out. His wife is super hot. His his wife, wife or daughter, daughter was super hot. <laughs> super hot. Either way, either way, super hot. Like she she won she won that segment over. <laughs> um, yeah, but he was like eighty years old or something. So I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't. I I was like, bro, I don't know who this lady is, but some of these kids, some of these kids were very young, which made me think like, oh man, he was he was hitting that late into his years. Either way, <laughs> either way. Either way, big shot in, in in Mexico apparently. Either way, that segment ends, and we cut back to the backstage, and Cybernetico is like Pagano is going out there. He's like, oh, the announcer is like, oh, Pagano's not gonna wait. He doesn't care if he's gonna be put in an ambulance. Cybernetico is getting his hair cut now. They cut <laughs> off his hair after after doing a whole segment about somebody getting inducted on the fame. I just thought to myself, dude, if you were going to do it, it should have been right after that match ended. Yep. You sell it. You sell it. You don't You don't let the, the ending happen and then go, oh, we know it's a hair versus hair match. Uh, he'll lose his hair later on. Like, you don't do that to the live crowd. I'm sorry, you, Triple And Mania. you don't show it. And you don't show it as footage on your Titantron or, oh, yeah. it's camera footage later on. You do it on stage. Uh-huh. With the guy being barely conscious, and then he wakes up and realizes he's lost his hair. I get it. You wanted to do a crazy spot. Cool. He should have gotten his hair cut immediately. Oh, no. Throw up the X. Make it seem serious. No. I'm going to say this. Or controversial. No. I didn't like that. I'm going to say this. I'm sorry, Triple Mania. Or Lucha Libre. Ah, ah, ah. Right? Whenever you put a segment on of somebody inducted or some ceremonial thing, that just translates to me at home, bathroom break. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm not coming in. I'm, you know, it's like, okay, I got a bathroom break between matches. Let me go. And then you put that stuff at the end to come back quickly. Oh, my God. What's going on? Oh, what? Cutting his hair now. What? Yeah. Don't do that to me, please. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. I, I wasn't... But, but think about it. How many times WrestleManias or any other event? Oh, it's a ceremony for so-and-so. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> It's a ceremony for so and so. Normally, the ceremony goes long enough for you to be able to go to the bathroom and come back. Yep. Uh, assuming you, you're taking a whiz. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're um, you have <laughs> Yeah. How many? But so yeah. So, so, right. so I'm reminded. I'm reminded of the trivia trivia question where where uh, JP said, I, "I know that match was long because I went to, I went to the bathroom, I was in there for a while, came back and it was still happening." I was just like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah not not Pagano a fan wins. not a fan of that decision Pagano won Cybernetico got his hair cut after a whole segment happened there yeah. you go um all right let's go to the next match which was match of the night for me amazing match it was Iho Del Bikingo versus Phoenix the for the AAA Mega Championship uh-huh and what a match this was insane. It was. We had a great match. And by the way, by this point, we were told, after the Cybernetico match, uh, we were told, oh, uh, we only have two matches left. So we, we checked the dark match uh, and updated the scoreboard accordingly. Oh, Main wow. event Jeff from, went from being in the lead to being <laughs> eliminated from potentially winning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> which was, which was, and, and admittedly, it wasn't that the matches just were were speed run. It's just we we caught up, we caught up and updated the scoreboard accordingly. Yeah. But he was not pleased to say the least. Did you talk to him afterwards? Uh, yes, uh, he he was he he's already moving on to Halloween Havoc. So <laughs> 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 he was like he was like screw that. I don't I don't even care. I don't care anymore. Next point. Let me get the next point. Next 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 pay per view. Let's go. Um, By then he had shut down the show already. He was done. It's just like it's just like that's it. I don't care. And in this one, it was I but, picked Ivan Bikingo and so the randomizer. I was the only one. We yes, were, randomizer was, and the the belief was a title should have changed hands at this show to make it a big show. Yeah, a title did not change hands. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You guys are saying that. That's true. I remember that now. At the show, which 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 makes it which makes it less impressive. 
that, that also hurts the show. No title changes. Everything everything that happened on the show, from the choice of what was a dark match, the fact that no titles changed hands, uh, you implemented a rule Same. to prevent... No, no, no uh, women's match. All women. No women's match. No, no major women's matches aside from the one. Like, all of this really culminates the feed cutting out all this culminates to i don't like the show I, i'm sorry i'm sorry but this match i liked this match this match had close finishes uh-huh. so many moments poison ranas which is always a great spot oh yeah uh crazy stuff and i think this match actually had no weapons I think this match didn't go with weapons. They actually went with, with Lucha Libre. Mm-hmm. I might be mistaken. They did go to the outside. Maybe they used weapons at some point. I'm telling but you, I, when I look at this match... Ijo de Vikingo is really good. I, 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 oh, yeah. When you look at that finish, which he basically yeah. does a... It's, it's a 450, but reverse. He, instead of launching face forward, he launches face uh, facing away. Wow. Which makes it look more impressive. Uh... Amazing match. If if they use weapons, I don't remember it for them using weapons. I remember it for the athleticism. Mm-hmm. Great match. Eel and Vikingo won, and this was the match that solidified the randomizer as the winner. We actually didn't have to watch the main event, but we'll get to that. You're gonna bury me. In a we'll minute. get to that. We'll get to that because because somebody <laughs> screwed up on how the main event was set up, and uh, we had to adjust how we allotted points for that. Fortunately, there was no controversy in that. In the case that we had a winner decided before the main event happened. Wait, wait, but also, too, also this too. I mean, I know we have seen Ijo de Vikingo on other matches. I know that on the part of the weekly show, we, he's probably a big star because he does have a championship. I mean, he's he's not coming out of the blue out of nowhere. But no, he's not. But he's really good. I mean, I expect to see him somewhere in the future in AEW or something. I could see him. I could see him either in AEW. Impact Wrestling, possibly, but at this no, point, with, with Friday pay-per-views, with Friday pay-per-views, I, I think he's bigger than them. <laughs> yeah. um, but I could see him on WWE easily. Ooh. My only thing, I think the only thing that, that hurts he, him... He doesn't wear a mask either. So. He doesn't wear a mask. He doesn't wear a mask, which is going to hurt him as a as a wrestler there. Because, you know, you know, WWE's big on merch. Oh. The mask, they want, they want somebody, a Mexican wrestler with a mask to be over. Um, well, but yeah, they can't. But, but, At this but, point, they gave up after after Sin Cara. They were like, "We're we're done. We're done trying." Yeah, but it, it changes that stereotype of they have to wear a mask. I mean, but that's another that's another argument there. But uh, I don't, I don't it's think, part I, of the culture. It is part of the culture, though. Yeah. I mean, the main event of the show was a mask versus mask match. Yes, I get it, but you don't have to always think that every Mexican wrestler has to wear a mask. Like La Rouge, yeah, Rouge or Rouge is now. Who we see on, on a, I, I did see him on I think the first Triple Mania. Now he's on AEW. Like like uh, uh, what's his name? Alberto? No, that's Alberto. What's his name again? The, the guy who's married to Charlotte. Andrade, Andrade El Idolo. El Idolo. He, He's bringing up Mexican wrestlers. So without and he didn't wear a mask. So he he's changed that that, that stereotype of having to wear a mask. Like, even though he comes in with a mask and takes it off. <laughs> Where is that trick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does. He does. You're you're forgetting that. <laughs> okay. But, uh, I found that hole in my argument. Yeah, dude, it's it's um, it's crazy. But it's but, he, crazy. but he's, he's really I, good. I, he's really good. If you know Ray Phoenix from watching him with uh with Penta on AEW, well, then yeah. Oh, I knew this match was gonna be good from the beginning because mm-hmm. I, I saw I saw the five way at uh, Triple Mania night two, where Ijo de Vikingo won the thing. Mm-hmm. So this was set up perfectly the match delivered on all aspects mm-hmm. and it was the highlight of the televised show basically because i can't give a i can't give a rating on the on the battle wall i can't give a rating on the yeah. team america versus team Purpura match yeah but moving on to what is essentially us bashing the show uh i don't know if you caught the main event i fell asleep um I about I was seven minutes seven minutes into the show i or who knows I don't even remember if I fell asleep. I just remember I don't. I bl- I, I I. It's all a blank to me. I, I, I want to say I fell asleep. I fell asleep in the middle of it, but I was. I woke up by the end of it. And yeah, it, but it was a long match. It was a very long match. 
that um, it had such a slow start, and we need to address the fact that you yes. totally yes did not check your sources here. Wikipedia. Because what, we Wikipedia need to lie? we need to yeah the most reliable source in wrestling news uh, apparently was very unreliable in this case uh, because we reported it as Blue Demon Junior versus Psycho Clown in the finals match of the Roulette de la Muerte match. And funny enough, that's not how the Roulette de la Muerte works. The winner doesn't advance. So we had to address this yeah. because Blue Demon Jr. and Psycho Clown won their matches at night two. I should have remembered this, but I didn't. I was busy remembering other matches from night two. <laughs> uh, so the actual match was Villano 4 versus Penta... Gone Jr. Which is Penta so, Cero, Cero Miedo. Which is Penta Cero Miedo from AEW. Speaking of Mexican wrestlers in AEW. So, if, the know, way we had to that, allot points. And that changes everything in, in, in prediction-wise. If you're thinking Blue Demon Jr. and Psycho Clown, and you saw Psycho Clown, had a match earlier, which I remember when, the predictions, when we were making the predictions. It, it, it yeah, it would have made you. It would have made you think to yourself, "Wait a minute, what is this?" <laughs> Anyways, wait. Why is he getting inducted? And he having a match at the end. Why is he in a suit? No. Yes. Yes, I know. I, I it started hitting me when I when they announced it. I was like, "Wait a second, that wasn't the match we had." I thought it was just a mistake. I thought they were reviewing the whole thing, and then they were just like, "No, they they're just reviewing the final match." And I go, "Lou, what did you do?" <laughs> Anyways, the way we allotted points was. Since we did between Blue Demon Jr. and Psycho Clown, whoever picked Blue Demon Jr. basically ended up picking the person that Blue Demon Jr. beat instead as the final. That's how we did it. Mm -hmm. So, main event Jeff, being one of the few people to pick Blue Demon Jr. Me too. And Lou. There we go. I'm, I'm sorry, Lou. You, you were out of contention at this point. Oh, I know. It didn't matter what <laughs> But... Uh, Blue Demon Jr. was picked by two people, so two people actually picked Pentum to win. And everybody else had picked Psycho Clown under the presumption that, you know, he's the younger guy, so he'll win, obviously. Yeah, because in the picture, Psycho Clown is like a young guy compared to Blue Demon yeah. and the older guy. He's like, All right, yeah. Older guys so, lose. however, because Psycho Clown got the win over Viano 4, the old guy, Viano 4, who did end up losing, was the pick of three out of five people. Also, also, too, also too I, I, I've already seen a bunch of these matches already with, a, with you know, the mask, it gets revealed or whatever. They... Throughout the match, they're already tearing up half the mask. Yeah, they're tearing it up. Penta's I, mask I, was half I ripped. Seen, you couldn't see his face seen, only because his face is painted in black underneath the mask. I I genuinely I genuinely don't know why they go that route. I guess I guess the the psychology there is you're gonna the guy's gonna lose his mask anyways. I just want to tear at it because he'll have part of his hands covering his face and stuff like that. Penta's because, mask you know, only had the lip portion connecting one side of the face to the other. The eyes, the nose, all that was ripped. We've watched all we've I've watched matches on the tournament. I know how this goes. It was it was uh it, these matches are crazy when they do that. Weapons Fest, slow match, Viano four yeah. lost, <laughs> and I think and rightfully so. The way he was moving in the ring, I it's it's one I, I fall asleep on good programming because I'm tired. I did not fall asleep because I was tired on this. <laughs> I was I I this I came into this show amped up, super super excited. I was like, man, I I saw night two. I want to see this. I want to see this show. And <laughs> as the night progressed, my my enthusiasm very much waned. Yep. Not the great way to end your pay per view series for your biggest event of this of the year. Uh. Triple Mania. <sighs> I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this event a three out of ten. No. no, 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 no. Two. I'm gonna give it a two out of ten. Oh, dropped even lower. Oh, I'm gonna give it a two out of ten. I'm remembering the feed cutting out, and and I, I gotta give it a two out of ten. But the, um, the, the feed isn't the promoter's fault. That's the broadcaster who you got it from. Fight. No, no. No, I can blame Fight TV, but how else was I going to watch it? The only other alternative would be to watch it illegally. And, you know, what's that going to do? So, yeah, I'm going to say I'm gonna say this right now. A lot of booking decisions that I wasn't a fan of. And it didn't sit well with me. Lou, what did you think? Nah, it was, it was a... 
it was uh, a, a regular a lucha show until it became bloody and it became like ECW, which was which was I like I said I, I saw a clip on the camera where Ty was trying to grab a, something from her wrist to cut her face. Is what I Ooh, just the moment. give it a score. Give it a score out of ten. What did you give it? Out of ten, I'll give it a four. Too lenient. That's why your critic scores are never gonna are never gonna be. A, you, you're, you see, you're you're the you're the critic score that's ridiculously puffed up. What? Because 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 you're just like man, I don't want the I don't want to think poorly of me. I'm the I'm the brutally honest audience score going going. No, this was bad. This yeah. was bad. I didn't like it, and uh, you 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 got to do better. But I'll tell you one thing, Lou. Go for it. I know exactly how I'm gonna ch- how I cheered myself up. How? Oh. I went off Fight TV and I watched Night Two again. Oh.